Good evening, good morning, wherever you may be. This makes the third time. I am not going to give up. I refuse to, and I will not let the devil have the upper hand. He will not win. And I tell you that much right now. In the name of Jesus, he will not win at all. Because he is trying to discourage and trying to interfere with what God has planned for me and I'm not going to let him I'm not going to allow him and what I'm going to be talking about today is the Good Samaritan and the Good Samaritan that story is a very very well known story and if you guys don't know about it I'm going to tell you about it today and what that story is about it's about a, a man that was on the side of the road and he he was beat up he was beat to a bloody pulp and these these people they took his clothes and then there were some people that went by him and just didn't just ignored him didn't have nothing to do with him he said they, they seen him laying on the ground and just let him lay there and suffer even though that he was bleeding and hurting and the, then there came along this other person that hit, called the Good Samaritan that stopped and he seen he seen that he was injured he seen that he was hurt so the Good Samaritan what he did he took his own oil and his own bandages and bandaged the guy up and put ointment on him and then he took him and put him on his donkey and took him to a hotel and took care of him that night and then whenever he woke up the next day he gave money to the tenant of the hotel to take care of that individual until he get well and he'll be back in two months and if he was still there he would pay whatever extra expensive expenses it had to take to take care of him and that says a lot about what that person did and it's such an amazing testimony of what he did and so many times in our life I think that we should try to do the same thing when we see someone down and out and just don't know how to function and don't know how to do anything what should we do i mean should we just sit there and watch him and just say okay yeah he'll survive he's all right just let him go let him be no i think i know there's sometimes even i'm guilty myself i i don't extend my hand out to help some people i i i'm guilty of myself but I try my best to help the best way I can whenever I can. I'm not saying that you should stop everything that you do to help every single person on this world. But if that's what you want to do, hey, do it. Uh, I'm not going to stop you. And good for you if you can. I mean, that's a wonderful thing if you can. But try to help at least one person. I mean, I challenge you just to try to help one person this, this coming week. Just try to help just one person person just try to go out of your way whether you know them or whether you don't just try to help that one person speak some kind of word of encouragement or try to give somebody a bottle of water if they're thirsty even if they're not thirsty just do some random act of kindness and try to break this monotony of all this bad things that are going on and that we're we're struggling with Try to do something positive today. I mean, this this coming week. Try to do it. And whatever you do it, do it in secret. And I got it. Even to make it a little bit better, you know what? Buy somebody a meal. Say you go to a restaurant or you go to a fast food place or if you're in a drive through or wherever you're at. Just give enough money that would actually cover the person behind them and if if it's too much money just tell them say you know what if it's a little too much just keep the rest give them the change and you know what that would actually change the way that cashier thinks because sometimes whenever you do that that can have a positive impact on that cashier and they're like wow that's something just try to do one thing this week just one thing and once you do it you're gonna feel so good about it 
you're gonna you know, be like wow thank you lord for giving me that opportunity to do it and i tell you what it is it's just the most amazing feeling to have whenever you know that you help somebody it's probably it feels good whenever someone helps you right when someone comes up to you and say hey I'm gonna use me for an example. Hey, Alan, I see that you're struggling there, man. You need some help there? <laughs> and they help me. But there's sometimes when people see me in there and they say, hey, Alan, you need some help there? Mm -hmm. Too bad. I get that too. Where they just kick me to the curb, but that's okay. That's okay. But for some people, that's not okay. There's sometimes that we kick people to the curb and sometimes that's not the best attitude to take. Well, all the time it's not the best attitude to take, I should say. Because what if, what if we kick somebody to the curb or we just blow somebody off? You never know. That might be the last thing that they hear for that day. Because they may go home thinking, oh, why am I even here? Why am I even here? Oh, but you know what? Once we do something nice for someone and we don't do that, we don't act negatively, it's gonna have a positive impact. A positive and a positive is a positive. Don't think two negatives as a positive. This is an algebra here. No, a positive with a positive turns to something more positive try to do that try that's my challenge for you try to do something try to do something nice for someone and if you did something nice for someone you don't say nothing to no one you don't even have to tell me it's up to you but just try to do it and try to share it with someone else so they can do the same thing. Because we can defeat this negative that, that stuff that we're dealing with right now by doing something positive for someone else. Think about what I said and just do it. Okay? Take care, everybody. And God bless.